sometimes those nose are so irritating and annoying sometimes you'll be asking them panda will be behaving as if you are eating the pants <laughs> Welcome back again to my YouTube channel, guys. Hi, everyone. It's your favorite right, Paris from Valley World TV, and you are welcome back again to Valley World TV. So, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys things I've packed for baby and me, like things I've got for my delivery. So, in case you're just seeing this video for the first time, please, I only really appreciate if you do hit the red subscription button that says subscribe and also turn the bell notification on so you will be notified whenever I post my video. And for my whole subscribers, thank you guys for keep returning back to my channel. I really do appreciate and my God blesses you. So, feel free in the comment section to let me know if I pack away too much. In as much I try my best not to pack way too much because experience they say is the best teacher, you know. I'm um, experienced more like this is my second baby, so I try not to pack way too much like I did with my first baby. So let's just get into this video without wasting much of your time. So, guys, first in my list today is my breastfeeding pillow. So, this is my breastfeeding pillow. I've been watching so many videos about breastfeeding pillow, and it's really helpful. With my first baby, I didn't use it, and breastfeeding was really a problem in as much I didn't breastfeed that much with my first baby. But with this baby, I tend to do exclusive breastfeeding, and I, I believe this is going to make me comfortable while doing it, like feel comfortable while doing it. Another thing I like about this breastfeeding pillow is that it's a washable breastfeeding pillow. Like the pillowcase, you can take it off and wash it. You have this zip that you just remove it and wash. So I really love, 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 love that. So another one is what in my hospital bag, guys. I try to take something like this. I don't want a case where I would take in uh, a big bag. It's going to be very heavy. So I decided to go for suitcase. As you can see, this is my hospital bag. In here, I've got my stuff. In here, I've got my baby stuff. So just start by my baby stuff. So this is the baby change cream. It's so nice. I decided to take this alongside with me. I don't know if I'm going to be using it because with my first baby, I was I remember I was giving baby change cream, but I also uh, decided to take this along with me because due to coronavirus, I don't know if the system still works the same as it was before. So this is my baby change cream um, that I'm taking alongside with me. Here is my baby body mink. And with my first baby, I was not given uh, a cream in the hospital. So this time around, I decided to go with a cream. The cream is so nice. Uh, I've not used it before, but a friend of mine who has used it um, recommended it. And it's a French cream and it's for first time, like a newborn. So it's really nice. So I'm taking this alongside with me. And here is my baby pillow, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be using it uh, in the hospital, but it's really nice because compared with my first baby, I was so protective of her head. I don't want her to have a flat head uh, because she normally lies down like this. So, you know, their newborn hair are so soft. So I decided to get this uh, pillow, a newborn pillow for my baby. I got this uh, pillow from AliExpress. It's really nice. Let me just open and show you guys how it looks inside. So guys this is how it looks inside yeah so beautiful and nice so i hope i use this it <laughs> another one is the head book cover this is so beautiful and colorful guys just look at the way it is so beautiful with my first baby i didn't get something like this because i never knew it was like this existed but now i decided to get myself uh, a head book cover, a book or uh, my baby that will represent everything about him, his head vaccination and everything. So in case I'm going to hospital or anywhere, I'll just put it inside and um, just button it. So here is my baby cap. Uh, I said to take it with me because I don't know how long we'll be staying in the hospital, but it's just good for the baby to have cap on his head because it's a newborn. Um, so I tried to take TV cap with me, guys. And again, I have this baby soccer. It's really nice and beautiful uh, for baby boys from zero to six months. Uh, it's really nice. So I got this because I'm going to be I'm going to start giving him this right from the hospital so that he will be mastered with it. In as much I will be doing exclusive breastfeeding for him, but I want him to also know what uh, this really is because it's really helpful. 
so guys here is my baby toy so this is my baby toy i'll be taking toy with me to the hospital because i don't remember if they do give baby toy in the hospital but i'm going to be taking this baby toy along with me to the hospital guys yeah so here is my baby toy and for the clothes i take few clothes with me uh, this is uh, the body i have four bodies yeah i have four bodies because if i'm going to be staying in the hospital for three or four days so he has to wear this before pajama because it's super cold yeah currently in winter right now i take four bodies with me and uh, these pajamas is for newborn i don't know if my baby is going to fit in this <laughs> it's so small because my first baby she didn't even wear newborn because she was big she was 3.6 kilo and there was no way she would have wear newborn so i just decided to take one with me one pajamas of newborn because i know this baby is big i know so i don't know if the baby is going to fit in newborn and i also take these three lovely pajamas with me one month because this is what my first baby was able to fit in yeah because she was big so i decided to got this uh, lovely pajamas this is a body dance so lovely and uh, the color is amazing blue and this is so colorful guys with my first baby i also used something like this and i got them from primark I got it for Primark, it's so lovely. And this time around, I also decided to get something like this for him. It's nice and beautiful and, um, for a newborn. It's easy to wear and I don't need stockies because he has this the uh, leg cover. So this is the clothes. I just take this. so I just decided to take these few clothes. So in here I have three pajamas, um three bodies, and one newborn pajamas. And in here is my baby with Tony clothes. It's so lovely, guys. Look at it. <laughs> it's so lovely. And this is the shirt that comes along with it. Although it comes along with shoe also, but newborn shoe, I don't just want to go with it. And I lost them. So this is what I got with me to come home with the baby from the hospital. I'm returning back clothes. And guys, I love this cardigan. It's so nice and it feels so warm. And the good thing is that it's a zip down. You just put the baby inside. You just zip it. So when we are coming back, this, this is what I'm going to be putting the baby in when we are coming back. The same way I used my first baby, uh, this is the same way I'm going to be using with this baby because I'm going to be using baby carrier. So speaking of baby carrier, this is the baby carrier I got for myself. It's so beautiful and it's super strong, guys very strong and easy to use so this is the baby carrier i'm going to be using because like i said before i'm going to be returning home with this baby with a baby carrier lovely way to come back home and here is the baby blanket okay guys this is my baby blanket the blanket is also colorful just like the baby head book cover so lovely my first baby i forgot to take baby blanket with me this time around i don't want to forget uh baby blanket because my first baby i didn't remember that i was supposed to take blanket with me so this time around we are going with baby blanket <laughs> it's so lovely guys so guys i'll be showing you guys the stuff i've got for myself so let's just start with the mask i decided to take this packet one packet of mask and um another one is this bag in here i've got my phone my charger and uh, my phone holder yeah i've got my phone um my phone holder another phone and uh, my charger because it's going to be very easy when i'm in labor i'll just take this with me when i'm uh, in labor so my phones and my chargers will be very close to me so i decided to put them inside this bag so this is what i got in this bag so guys this is my breast pad i got it from aliexpress uh, washable breast pad i didn't use it with my first baby i only used the disposable one but this time around i'm using the washable breast pad i hope 
it's good i've not used it before as i said um uh, but i just hope it's good guys so it just is not much it's four four pieces i'll be taking it alongside with me to the hospital and i'll be taking one maternity bra with me so guys i've got this sleeping bra with me uh this is the sleeping bra i've got with me very soft and nice and uh comfortable because i don't want something that will be holding me in my back very comfortable more like normal cloth that we wear guys so it's really nice another thing here is my pad i decided to take this pad with me guys because the hospital uh pad is so big the last time i was there the pad was so big that so the extent where you wear trousers the pad will just be showing the back i decided to go with my own pad it's not that big just like this i think it's going to be okay uh i don't know i just had to go with my own pad this is very nice and um uh, very thick as well so this is my pad and in here i have my net guys this net is what i'm going to be using to cover my hair when i'm in labor or in hospital when i don't want to disturb myself this is my hair net guys that i'm going to be using and this is the tights i intend to wear after delivering in the hospital very stretchable as i also got it from aliexpress guys very stretchable this is the tight i'm going to be wearing in the hospital and uh, this is my returning home cloth it's so beautiful it's a sleeve guys let me show you guys how it looks so this is how it looks and uh, i'm loving it already <laughs> i also got this shirt from aliexpress as well it's really nice the quality is good i was not even uh, open for something like this but when i saw it it's really beautiful guys and this is my returning of uh, mosquito shirt um another one is the tights that i bought alongside with it so this is what i'm going to be returning from the hospital with it's so stretchy and it feels so good guys it doesn't even look like tight like i said to order a uh, size l guys because <laughs> at this my stage of pregnancy size m is this will now becoming small for me to wear so because it's a tight i go for size l and it makes me really feel comfortable when i wear it so i'll be returning from the hospital with this lovely tight this is the t-shirt that i'll be wearing in the hospital another t-shirt that i'll be wearing with the tights while in the hospital and um this is a uh, rub everybody say you need rub you need rub yeah i know i need rub but because it's cold i was kind of like do i really need rub i don't think i need rub but just take this alongside with me and the easy way to bring out my breast out when i want to feed my baby because it's very easy guys so these are the clothes i'm taking alongside with me to the hospital Feel free to let me know if I'm packing way too much, guys. I know that I'm not packing way too much. And this is the panties that I'm going to be using. And these are the panties that I'm going to be using in the hospital. I know the hospital do give a pants, but sometimes those nose are so irritating and annoying sometimes. You'll be asking them pants, they'll be behaving as if you are eating the pants. My last baby, though, it was like that. You know, I when I has uh, much pants, they'll just be behaving as if I'm eating the pants. So I said to also take few of my pants in case they want to annoy the hell out of me. Because sometimes, you know, the almost I don't know if it's almost when you just have a newborn baby, there's something that just drives crazy in your head. B these people don't really understand. They just want to annoy you and see what is in your mouth. You know. So I decided to get this, uh, take this pants along with me. I know it's white, but I don't really care because. Might not even be returning with me from the hospital but what i love about it is that it's very stretchy and um that just oh it just make me feel comfortable uh in case you don't know i'm somebody that i like to feel comfortable in anything if pants is not making me feel comfortable i don't need it i just wear my trousers like that okay that's that's me so this is the um the other one and it's really nice i decided to take two with me but i really love the pan they give from the hospital because that also makes me feel comfortable but in case the nose wants to be rude to me that's when i would just let them know that i have my own panties as well so that's the pants and this here is another pan that i tend to take with me in case i want to wear that thing that will make my body my body and my soul be together i don't know if i'm making sense but this is uh, uh this pants is very big and comfortable like 
this is the type of pants I've been wearing since I've become pregnant. I will just wear them and draw them to my stomach because I want my body and my soul to be together. But it's really good for postpartum and all. So I decided to take one of it alongside with me and with the nude color is really nice. I hope I use it. I don't know. So that's it. And in this bag, I'm going to rearrange this thing later. And in this bag, I got my toiletries, my flip floss, slippers or what you call it. And um few things like just few things inside guys. In here I have my foundation. I don't I'm not going to use it, but I just take it for the sake of coming back home, okay? But I don't know if I'm going to be using it because if not because of this video, I don't think I'll be making this up. No, I've not been making up since I become pregnant because it's just a way of me just saying, Oh, 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 I'm free. <laughs> Everybody know I'm pregnant. I don't need makeup, I don't need beauty, I don't need anything. Let me just enjoy my pregnancy, okay. <laughs> and this is my lip gloss it's really nice and beautiful this is the lip gloss i mostly use in all my videos and uh so i decided to come home with this lip gloss and guys this is the brush i'm going to be using to brush my teeth okay <laughs> this is my brush and uh, i just decided to put it inside okay This bag is taking a lot of things, so you won't even believe. Why is I to put these things in here? Because when I'm going to the uh, toilet or the bedroom, easy way for me to just carry the bag like this, and it's really comfortable, and it's really nice. So yeah, I have my toothpaste. Um, I have my um Dove, because I'm not going to be taking sponge with me with me first baby. I remember taking sponge with me to the hospital and uh it was really disgusting because afterwards you'll be looking for where to put it like i don't want to take sponge with me this time around so i'm taking this um those soap uh it's really good for me to be scrubbing my body with this in as much i'm not going to be staying long in the hospital okay so i'm going to be taking this um those soap those soap with me and um i have this um cream with me recommended by the doctor i've been using it ever since i become pregnant and it's really good make my skin just be like this brown as you can see what did i do i decided to transfer some of it in, inside this thing you are seeing because i cannot be taking this bigger one with me so this is it and so in here i have my flip floss my deodorant a lot of other stuff guys so that that's what i have in this bag i'm tired as you can see um so i think that's all i've got in my hospital bag i also have uh my hairband with me so that will be all thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys bye bye i am so ready i'm going to the hospital 